Hi there and welcome to our video on some exam questions related to pauses. Our first exam question states, during a different part of the journey, the car accelerates from 9 meters per second to 18 meters per second in 6 seconds. Use the following equations to calculate the acceleration of the car. So to calculate acceleration, you need to do the change in velocity divided by the time taken. Now the change in velocity is going to be the final velocity subtract our initial velocity. So we would do 18 subtract 9 and then we would divide that by 6. So 9 divided by 6 and that would get you an answer of 1.5 meters per second squared. That's the units for acceleration and that would be worth 2 marks. Okay, you could have also typed that into your calculator to check your answer. Okay, so what is the difference between distance and displacement? It's only worth one mark, so you need to give only one reason. And the simplest reason is that distance is a scalar quantity, while displacement. is a vector quantity okay and that would get you one mark next question on 14th of october 2012 a skydiver set a world record for the highest free fall from an aircraft after falling from the aircraft he reached a maximum steady velocity of 373 meters per second after 632 seconds draw a ring around the um uh, the answer to complete the sentence the maximum steady velocity is called the what velocity it's called the terminal velocity that's the maximum velocity that you can reach that would be worth one mark next question the boat accelerates at a constant rate in a straight line this causes the velocity of the water uh, skier to increase from 4 meters per second to 16 meters per second in 8 seconds. Calculate the acceleration of the water ski and give the unit. So it's worth 3 mark and 1 mark is for the unit. Now, what is acceleration? Well, acceleration is the change in velocity divided by the time. The change in velocity is going to be 16 subtract 4 and time is going to be divided by 8. So that's going to be 12 divided by 8 and that's going to give you an answer of 1.5 meters per second squared okay and you could have even typed that into your calculator just to check it okay and that would be worth three marks next question to land safely the base jumper opens a parachute what effect does opening the parachute have on the speed of the falling base jumper now if you open the parachute that increases the air resistance and decreases the speed so it's going to decrease the speed now give a reason for your answer it's because the air resistance increases Okay, so the air resistance increases and that will, would be worth two marks. Next question, the final design go-kart Y is entered into a race. The graph shows how the velocity of the go-kart changes during the first 40 seconds of the race. Now it says use the graph to calculate the acceleration of the go-kart between points J and K. Give your answer to two significant figures. Now J and K so it's basically asking us to work out the gradient of the graph. We need to work out the acceleration and we know the acceleration is the change in velocity divided by the time. So over here, uh, let's draw a line down. Okay, now the change in velocity goes from 0 to 5, 5 and we're dividing that by our time which is 3 if you look there. So 5 you would divide it by 3. Now you can just type that into your calculator once again. 5 divided by 3 is going to give you an answer of 1.6 reoccurring. And it says to two significant figures. So you would round that to 1.7 meters per second squared for two marks. Okay, now this is our final question and it's a six mark question. 
In this question, you will be assessed on using good English, organizing information clearly and using specialist terms where appropriate. The graph shows how the vertical velocity of a parachutist changes from the moment he, um, the parachutist jumps from the aircraft until landing on the ground. Now the question says, use the idea of forces, um, explain why the parachutist re reaches a terminal velocity and why opening the parachute re reduces the terminal velocity. So if we were to explain that, in stage one of terminal velocity, the weight is greater than the air resistance. Okay, so the weight is greater than the air resistance. Okay, so then the skydiver will accelerate. Okay, now as he accelerates, um, the weight will stay the same. So the weight will stay up there, but the air resistance will start to increase. I'm just writing this in note format, but I'm explaining it as well. Okay, the air resistance will also increase. Okay, and this means that the forces are balanced. The forces will be balanced. Okay, the air resistance will increase, the weight will stay the same, and the speed will increase as well. Okay, and when air resistance is equal to weight, that means that the forces are balanced. Okay, the forces are balanced. When the forces are balanced, this is terminal velocity. So this is terminal velocity. And this is the constant velocity that it travels at. Now, when the parachutist opens the parachute, then the weight will stay the same, but your air resistance will increase even more. Okay, so your air resistance will increase even more. Now, air resistance will be greater than the weight, and so the speed will decrease. Okay, so the speed will decrease, and the forces are unbalanced. The skydiver will decelerate. Okay, so the skydiver will decelerate. And then once um, it comes close to the ground, once it's been decelerating for a while, then finally the air resistance will decrease and the weight will stay the same and the forces will be balanced. So the forces will be balanced once more. Okay, now the question says, explain how he reaches terminal velocity. So we've explained it there. Okay, so we've explained it there and it says why opening the parachute reduces the terminal velocity we've explained it there okay and that would be a six mark answer there okay and you would have also said forces will be balanced and he reaches a new terminal velocity okay and that's because the forces are balanced once more okay and that is it for this uh, video. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked it and one last thing. Please subscribe hit the like button and the notification bell